Hi guys, this is Zach from Watches on You, and today I'm going to be taking a look at the Breitling Super Ocean Heritage 2 44. So this is actually the new model with the with the bezel that has the actual graduations on it, going 15, 30, 45, and then with notches all the way out to 15. So with this watch, they really made the Super Ocean 2 a much more usable dive watch, and I really appreciate that they did this because with the original bezel. All it had were these dash marks. There were no numbers, there were no notches, like there are here up to 15. It was just a ceramic bezel with the markings every five minutes. And I really appreciate that Breitling then added these numbers on here because now it makes it much more of a functional dive watch as well as kind of a heritage, kind of classier looking dive watch. When before the, uh, Heritage was not really focused on being a serious diver and being more of a daily wear uh, watch that you could take diving, but not really, it didn't really have the professional kind of features of a professional diver. Now they added the change the bezel, which brought this thing much more close to a professional diver. But now let's go over some of the aspects of this timepiece. So the case on this watch is 44 millimeters, as it says in the name, Super Ocean Heritage 244. Uh, the case is made out of stainless steel, as you can see, and it is really entirely polished, like all Super Ocean Heritages are. You might see this. That's just a protective covering. This is a brand new watch, but there's polishing under there. And the polishing is done very, very nicely. It's to a clean mirror. You can see some of it there in between the crown and the pusher uh, there's some a little bit of specks of dust on there but other than that it is a very very nice polish the bracelet this watch comes on is this kind of Milanese or shark shark mesh style of bracelet where it's weaved metal metal uh, I guess wires but then you have adjustable links as well where these are designed these kind of mesh in with the shark mesh bracelet however they are just solid steel these are not fibers uh, so just to make it easier when changing them you can kind of see that there are some hinges right there and then you have more of those on the other side as well so you have that adjustability however they do bend very nicely with the shark mesh and they really cannot really notice the transition very much whatsoever which is something that I like Breitling did on this now the bracelet is also entirely polished there is a plastic covering over that so if you seek some odd reflections that's why uh, but it is an entirely polished bracelet over that uh, kind of that shark mesh the clasp on this timepiece is a solid bar clasp, however, it does have a pressed metal, I guess, clasp covering or top cover over the clasp, which is one thing I wish Breitling's changed. I wish they made this cover much thicker along with this, just to kind of bring their quality up to par with what other brands are doing, like Rolex and Omega. Uh, they all have much thicker top covers over their clasp, so I wish that they included that on this timepiece, but and I think that they should sometime in the future. However, it is nice though that they do not have pressed metal here. That's just a good thing to see. Rolex used to have that, so I guess you could say they're better than older Rolex, but Rolex and Omega both now really all have milled out clasps instead of this pressed metal type. So you don't get a see-through case back on this timepiece, and this timepiece uses a Valjoux-based movement, so it's not an in-house movement. You do get the day of the week, the date, and then you have your chronograph. So at 12 o'clock, you have the minute counter for the chronograph. At 9 o'clock, you have the running seconds, and then at 6 o'clock, you have the hour counter for the chronograph. So now I'll demonstrate the chronograph action. So you just start it with the upper pusher. I'll just let it go around a bit and then you can stop it with the upper pusher and then you can reset it with the bottom pusher. So the Valjou movement, now the Valjou movement is a very iconic movement. There's really nothing wrong with that movement except that it would be nice that they included an in-house on this time because they knew make a Breitling B01 powered uh, uh, powered Super Ocean 2 Heritage as well. That is another option, but that's going to cost you quite a bit more money, and that's all in-house. This is kind of a little bit, this is going to be a bit cheaper, but you're not going to get that in-house movement. It will still function, though, essentially, just as well. You just won't get that added kind of finishing and see-through case back that you do on the in-house model. So, Overall, this watch comes in at a price of $6,240. And actually, I'm going to do a wrist shot here, so I haven't done that in the video. And that price 
is it is it's that's definitely in the luxury watch category with that price point with the omegas and everything coming in around that as well uh would have definitely been nice to see them include an in-house movement at a watch more down at this price point but you do get that option if you go in with the b01 movement on the higher end model uh, but uh, however, this watch's finishing still is incredibly nice. You're getting a ceramic bezel. You're getting a very well, a very well finished case stainless steel, and you're getting this very unique shark mesh bracelet. Uh, so there's a lot that this watch has. The movement, I just think, would have been a good thing to feature at this price, but that's just kind of one of my things. It's not really a thing you notice, though, day to day. So I'd like to mention that this watch was lent to us for the purposes of this review by Continental Diamond in St. Louis Park, Minnesota. I want to give a thanks to them. And remember to like, subscribe, and share. And remember also to check the link in the description to our channel Amazon store. Uh, we just have some of our kind of favorite watch straps and other watch accessories. And... We do earn a slight commission from anything you purchase on there, so that just helps support the channel a bit. So thank you guys for watching. Remember to like, subscribe, and share. Thanks.